So you heard the strategy. LAX is going to start in the left lane. And here is Anthony Avery Spar to get things going. 2014. I can't believe that. LAX won. It was a different format back then with different types of games bowl. And Avery Spar is going to be Yeah, no, no, no. It's going to stay. It's going to stay. I can't believe that it did, but it did. And this is the race to two. You win a point if you win the first game. You win a point if you win the second game. You win both games, you're moving on. If we're tied after two, we'll have a one ball roll off to determine the winner. Darren Tang. Flush, flush, flush. And last night, Darren did a nice job for NYC with three strikes and a spare, Dave. We did have the one split and a couple of strikes, so he did fine. A different ball than he had last yeah, night. Yeah, he's using a different orb tonight, but that looked like it was a little left to target off his hand. And five for five for that man. What a touch he has. That looked like it was supposed to be a ring and ten, and then right at the last minute. The six catches enough of the 10 pin, but I'm not sure you can roll the ball on the lane any prettier than that. That was a late 10, brother. That 10 almost got slapped over into the seven pin spot. Just another exceptional year for the guy who's in the front runner for player of the year again. Big angle. Oh, wow. How does he do that? 24 out to six. Look at strike track there. Speaking of somebody who was perfect last night. Yes, sir. Shot out of a cannon. Fourth to ninth and the anchor bowler bowl frames five and ten. There you go. Buried that eight nine. There you go. Five pin was just stuck before it finally dropped. Well, that was a good three board move to the right for Jacob Putram. Yeah, you're right. He's looked so good. I think you're getting a, a good look at Stu at his, at his best and the talent he has and the touch. Increases the lead now to 23. Remember coming off of that second place finish. Insane. Wow. Insane. A little ride of his last one, but look at these numbers. I mean, that is playing some incredible angles. They're getting smoked right now. Dick Allen with a strike here. And close out game one. Another flat 10. So what does he have to do differently? He's got to get a different ball in his hand because that ball is DOA when it's getting to the pins. If he makes it, they'll capture game one. And he missed it. Now, Sherman, he strikes out. We go to a roll off game one. Unbelievable. All right. Let's see what he can do. He doesn't need three right now. He needs one. Remember his first shot, 3, 6, 9, 10. Two straight, gets a break. Look out. No, no. Again, the same kind of shot we saw earlier. And the missed 10 pin in the 10th frame does not hurt LAX. Darren, Darren Tang to lead things off. Now they've switched to the left lane, which yesterday was a real bear. And again, that's the second time he looked odd at yeah. the approach. Exactly. What's up? I'll get right back to you. Lavery Spar, big snap into the pocket for a strike. Carolyn, can you hear Randy? I know it's loud. Carolyn cannot hear Randy. That's how loud it is. We'll try Andrew Kane right after this. There was a foul oh. called on foul. Sean Perry, who is the foul yeah. line official, has ruled that Lavery Spar fouled. Let's take a look at it. 
See if we can get that from some kind of replay. Here we go, right here. Watch his left foot. That's a foul. Then he pulls his foot back off of the approach. And no, we don't have replay in bowling. We have a line judge that watches all the players and, and he's the determining factor as to whether or not the players stay behind the foul line. So Avery Spar's got to make an emotional recovery and get a spare out of this. It's the best he could have done. Yeah. And you know what? If you're going to do it, the count yeah, doesn't hurt you. Exactly. In the first frame. And uh, we're just going to try to pour as many shots in there as we can and just ride it out and hopefully we can get, get the second game. Thank you, Andrew. Kyle Sherman, who has the opportunity to tie the game in the first match from the anchor position. It's the beauty of team bowling. Watch the numbers on the right. Wait a minute. Oh, no. What on earth was that? I saw that happen to him a couple of times at the Touring Players Championship against Anthony Simonson. That exact same hit. Ring 10 with the seven pin. Unbelievable. It cost him a major. And he could have set the record back then. Yeah. All right. So I'm not going back there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard for her to hear. Yeah, they're too loud down there. Just be perfect. Pretty good there. Man. Hall of Fame stuff right there. Still got game. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. so cut the deficit to 21, Jacob Butcher. Ooh, what an angle that was to the pocket for the lefty. By the way, we talked about Jason Belmonte as player of the year candidate. Oh, wow, a violent ringing 10 against Kyle Sherman. Well, here's Mr. Perfect, not Kurt Henning, the former pro wrestler, but Stu Williams. <laughs> Eight in a row. Hey, Mr. Big Shot. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Uh, it's the foundation frame, the ninth frame. Spin it? No, oh boy. There goes your max score, and now you've got the possibility of an open frame in the ninth. Had to try something. You just can't. Try, try to go for it. If you like watching a bowling ball curve, swipe right and watch this. Nothing left behind this time. LAX already into the mid 220s. Marshall has to strike out and hope for an opening from Dick Allen. But you know what? It did happen in the first game. I mean, you know that. Yeah. In a 10 pin and missed it uncharacteristically. Okay. I think he figured that one out. That was a beauty. All right. That's all you can do. Yeah, he's giving him a chance. L.A. needs a mark. And Dick Allen has not looked like Dick Allen tonight. Well, he's going to have to knock one more down. And then a few after that. Great enough. Has to make Got to make it. He did. Now it's not completely over because they still need seven. Oh, my God. He almost fell over. He's okay, though. It's okay. It is over. LAX is in the PBA League Finals.